What is the point of view of outside directors? I expect that's a question in the mind of most entrepreneurs. They're saying, what do these new people that suddenly are joining my board really think about things? How do they view the world and how do they view this company and how do I understand them better? I think that outside directors have as many different points of view as you could find in any diverse group of people. Some of them will see the world through the lens of, of investor capital. And that's probably the, the single most likely group and the ones most terrifying to um, developing entrepreneurs. Um, who has the cash rules the world, at least at some point if you're a, an emerging company, there is no currency like spending currency. There is no, no possibility of going forward without um, the fuel, and that capital is the fuel. Companies don't go broke because they lose money. Companies go broke because they run out of money. And as long as they can continue to get capital, um, they can go forward. So what, how, do, how do outside members look at the situation? Well, first of all, their antennae are vibrating to try to understand what this particular CEO is like. You know, do they, some people are prone to outrun their headlights. Some tend to be very conservative. And so the, the outside, particularly the financial outside investors are trying to say, which category is this CEO part of? So they're trying to understand you. You think as an entrepreneur, you're trying to understand them. They're trying to understand you just as, just as well. I've seen circumstances where um, entrepreneurs have brought a corporate experience. And this is, this is a trouble sign. Where the entrepreneur, in one case where I was involved, had a large company background. And this CEO believed, because it was, had been true in his previous circumstance, that as long as he could show a plan and show progress toward a plan, corporate would write another check. Now, that's not the discipline of most venture backers. They don't want to invest until they are satisfied that their capital will be sufficient to get the entrepreneur and the company to the next stage. You know, if you're at one stage, what, what will create clear de value development so that the next round, if, if you need another round, the next round will be an up round not a down round or a flat round. So that's the way they're looking at the world. How much capital do we need to get from point A to point B? If, if, our, if our goal is to get to point Z, you know, how much do we need, how many steps are there along the way and how much capital does it take to get us to the next step? So that's the way um, uh, at least a venture capital investor is looking at it. The early, the early phase people may be saying, we just need to see the technology develop. But in a way, that's just getting to the next phase so that there will be a clear demonstration of increased value. So that's the, the first part of the mindset. But they worry a lot when the entrepreneur doesn't understand what their motivations are. They should always remind themselves that they have the same motivation, which is to increase stockholder value to see the company grow and prosper and become a great and sustaining company to realize its full potential. But sometimes these misconceptions or, or anxieties cloud the issue. Um, I think a, an outside director's point of view is undoubtedly governed by their experience. So we've, we've talked a little bit about what that might look like for a financial, uh, for an investor. Then there are the independent outside directors. And those are all over the lot. Uh, if they come from, uh, with, with experience in something that's related to the corporate mission, they can either be enormously helpful or enormously distracting because they may want to focus too much on the way they've seen it done before and not focus enough on what the particular situation and opportunities are for the, for the new company. Um, in short, I guess when, when I think about it, um, the point of view is as diverse as you might expect from 
any diverse group of people. But understand that they're trying to understand you as an entrepreneur as much as you, the entrepreneur, are trying to understand them as board members. Thank you.